Before I came, I had grave doubts as to whether the red rain was really an indication of life coming from space, new life coming from space. But on reflection and after talking to Godfrey, I think I would now fairly firmly believe that it did represent an invasion of microbes from space. Over in Washington, D.C., the planetary protection officer remains skeptical. He thinks the red rain has a more mundane origin. The material, when examined by astrophysicists and people who are looking for evidence to support a view, um, doesn't appear to be anything that they've ever seen before. But people who actually have seen things before say, looks like red algae to me. I would tend to go with the people who have seen more things in the biological kingdom rather than those who are looking to support their own ideas about how the world should work without the data to back it up. For the moment, the jury's out. But Chandra remains convinced that this sort of interplanetary transfer of microbes is how life first originated on Earth. And Chandra is not alone. There are an increasing number of scientists who are happy to put their family ancestry down to aliens. Earth life is essentially alien life. It is not a life that was indigenous to the Earth by any means. And uh, if we evolve from that life, then I think we are the products of evolution from alien life. If the hypothesis is correct, then all of the life that we see today originated from material that was brought into our planet. And if it's coming from beyond the atmosphere, then it is extraterrestrial. That's not an unusual concept. That's the way in which life propagates on Earth. You have seeds, and these seeds are carried by the winds, and they start growing at other places when they find conditions are suitable. 